In this video, we will be solving part C of question number 10, which says, are Martha's preferences convex and are Bartha's? So basically, we have to see if the preferences are convex for both Martha and Bartha. In your previous part, we drew these graphs where this graph was of Martha and this graph was of Bertha. But if you see both the graphs, they are essentially the same. Where on the x-axis you have animal crackers, on the y-axis you have beans, the scale is the same, the indifference curves are drawn through the same points, that is 8, 2 and 6, 4. So essentially these graphs are the same. So if we are able to figure out for one person, then the same thing would apply to the other. That means if we are able to see if the preferences for Martha are convex, then that convexity or non-convexity would apply to Bertha as well. So here, let's act smart and do it for only one person and the same thing would apply for the other one as well. Now, before solving for the convexity of the preferences, let's first understand what do you mean by convex preferences? We say that preferences are convex if there exists two consumption bundles x1, x2 and y1, y2 and the consumer is indifferent between them, then the combination bundle or the weighted average bundle which is denoted by Tx1 plus 1 minus Ty1, comma Tx2 plus 1 minus Ty2 is at least as good as the consumption bundle X1, X2 such that your T is between 0 and 1 and 0 and 1 are both included. In simple terms, convexity says that consumer prefers averages to the extremes. So if the consumer is indifferent between X and Y, then she prefers the weighted average Tx plus 1 minus Ty to either X or Y. Now I know that th this definition might seem a bit complex at first. So what I have done is I have broken down the definition into three simple steps. Let's see what those steps are. The first step of the definition corresponds to this segment of the definition where you have to choose any two consumption bundles such that the consumer is indifferent between them. The second step is to calculate the combination bundle or the weighted average bundle which is calculated using this formula for different values of t and such that your t is between 0 and 1 and 0 and 1 are both included. Lastly, your final step corresponds to this symbol that is your weak preference. With that means, if the weighted average bundle is weakly preferred to the extreme bundles where the consumption bundle X and consumption bundle Y are considered to be your extreme bundles for all values of T, then the preferences are convex. So let's apply all these steps one by one to the given question. Now, this was the graph for us where on the x-axis we have animal crackers and on the y-axis we have beans. And we would see if the preferences are convex or not for this. Let's take only one difference curve as the difference curves are same because the preferences remain same. So we would be analyzing the convexity for this indifference curve where the indifference curve passes through the point 8 comma 2. So your first step says to choose any two consumption bundles such that the consumer is indifferent between them. Now note that for the consumer to be indifferent between the two consumption bundle, those two consumption bundle has to be on your indifference curve. So suppose these green dots represent your these two consumption bundles. Let's move on to the next step which is calculate the combination bundle or weighted average bundle for different values of t. I have explained in very much detail how to calculate the combination bundle or the weighted average bundle for different values of t in your previous chapter. So in case you're confused and don't recall how to calculate the weighted average bundles, you can always refer to those previous videos. So here I would be directly drawing the combination bundle for different values of t which would be nothing but a straight line joining these two consumption bundles lying on the indifference curve. So since t is between 0 and 1, there would be t can take infinite values as t is a real number. Thus, there would be infinite weighted average bundle between the two extreme bundles. So if you try and plot multiple weighted average bundle, they would eventually trace out to this line. Now coming to the third point, it says if the weighted average bundle is weakly preferred to the extreme bundles for all values of t, then the preferences are convex. Now let's assume any one bundle, that is any one weighted average bundle, which would be your bundle 3, 6. And if I draw the indifference curve passing through this weighted average bundle, then it would look like this. Now if you see the graph, you will see that the blue indifference curve lies slightly above the red indifference curve and we know that the preferences are in this direction. So that means your blue indifference curve would give Martha a higher level of satisfaction as compared to the red indifference curve. 
and the step says that it should be weekly preferred that means either it should give mark for the same level of satisfaction for that you should remain on the same indifference curve or it should give the higher level of satisfaction that means it should lie above the indifference curve since your preference is direction out to the right and above and since that is the scenario here yes we say that the weighted average bundle is weakly preferred to the extreme bundles second thing here is for all values of t now if you draw indifference curve passing for any point on this line on the purple line then you will see yes that weighted average bundle is always weakly preferred to the extreme bundles and hence we are not able to find any value of t for which this statement is not holding true hence my weighted average bundle is weakly preferred to extreme bundles for all values of of t and since this condition is satisfied my last point says the preferences are convex hence i can conclude that the preferences for martha are convex so the answer to this question is yes and as i discussed in the beginning of this part that bertha's preferences are just identical as martha so the convexity or non convexity would apply as well and since the preferences of marthas are convex and so will the preferences for bartha will be that means the preferences for bartha are also convex so the answer to that part would also be yes and that was all for this video